water pump clutches. Ogora clutches are used on a variety of water pump applications, both mobile and stationary, where it is required that the pump turn on or off to meet a functional requirement or to save energy. The key components to the clutch are the armature rotor and field. Although these are two-piece clutches, the armature pulley assembly is actually four components pressed into one. These are the armature, which is connected to the hub via springs, rotor pulley, bearings, and field coil. Clutches come in two base types, shaft mounted, where the rotor is mounted directly to the pump or compressor shaft, or snout mounted, where the rotor mounts to an extended snout off the pump or compressor shaft. The advantage with the snout design is that the belt side load is taken up by the snout to the shaft, so the bearings in the pump or compressor can be sized smaller. For shaft mount clutches, the field can come in either a standard outside 4-bolt mount or an inside 3-bolt mount. Clutches operate electrically but transmit torque mechanically. When current is applied to the clutch, the clutch becomes an electromagnet and produces magnetic lines of flux. Although specialty coils are available, approximately 80% of coils are 12 volts and 15% are 24 volts. In multiple pole clutches, the magnetic attraction points are multiplied by the number of flux paths created. Even though basic magnetic flux is created in the field coil, when it goes into the rotor, the rotor design consists of a number of slots in the steel rotor. On the corresponding armature, similar slots are made which forces the flux to travel in a north-south pattern, looping across the armature and rotor face. These multiple points of contact increase the torque in a smaller package, helping to reduce weight and size. The magnetized rotor and armature attract each other the clutch momentarily slips on initial engagement. The torque is transmitted from the pulley rotor through the leaf springs and into the armature hub, driving the shaft of whatever is attached to the hub. When the clutch is fully engaged, there is no slippage and the torque transfer is 100% efficient. Although some clutches use bidirectional dampened armatures, most mobile clutches use leaf springs to transmit the torque. The springs need to run in tension, not compression, so clutches are either built to run clockwise or counterclockwise. When the current voltage is removed from the clutch, the armature is pulled away and held in place by the leaf springs, creating a small air gap so there is no contact. In most mobile clutches, friction material is not used and contact between the armature and the rotor is steel on steel. But in some special designs, friction material can be added to increase the contact area for high-speed engagements. For most water pumps, the pump manufacturer or distributor will provide a mounting plate that bolts to the pump face. Install the mounting plate and tighten the four bolts to the pump supplier's recommendations. Some pump suppliers provide a centering tool to make sure the mounting of the clutch pulley and field is concentric. Install the clutch field and bolt on with the four bolts provided for an outside field or three for an inside field mount. Most water pump clutches use a non-tapped straight shaft, which requires installation of the set screw. The set screws should be loosely installed on the hub, and then the clutch should be slid onto the shaft. The clutch should be slid onto the shaft until it contacts a step or a spacer. The clutch rotor should not contact the field coil. If contact is present, back the rotor away from the field before tightening the set screws. Insert the Allen wrench through the slot in the back of the field, locate the set screw, and tighten to approximately two foot-pounds. Once the clutch is installed, spin the pulley by hand. If noise is present, 
Reinstall the clutch to make sure there is no contact between the field and the pulley. Most pump clutches have a single wire connection because they are chassis grounded. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for completing the electrical circuit and make sure prior to connecting the clutch that the clutch control is off. To achieve full torque, new clutches need to have an initial wear-in period. Depending upon inertia and speed, the wear-in period can be anywhere from 30 to 100 engagements. Burnishing should be done at a reduced RPM and at a reduced clutch load. For high inertia loads, do not cycle the clutch more than four times per minute.